Now, Islamic banking is being promoted as a viable financial option for Ghana's development. A two-day seminar has been organized at the KNUST Business School to enlighten participants on the banking option. Mahmoud Mohamed Nuruddin reports. We want to bridge the gap between the very rich and the very poor. And when we look at countries like Indonesia, for instance, look at countries like Ghana, Although based on Sharia principles, Islamic banking is not restricted to Muslims only. The Islamic banking model is based on the principle of profit sharing, whereby the risk is shared between the bank and the customer. This system of financial intermediation contributes to a fairer distribution of income and wealth. Professor Mohammed Kamil Nile says strong ethical moral dimension of doing business and selecting business activities to be financed play an important role in promoting socially desirable investments and better individual or corporate behavior. For instance, if I come to the bank and I tell the bank I have a business that I'm doing, I need 1,000 Ghana CD to invest in my business. Instead of the bank give me a loan and I will pay interest, here the bank may have one of the contracts we call Mudaraba, which is the bank will give me the 1000 but the bank will have to ensure I'm a credit worthy person. And the bank give the 1000 I will use the 1000 and invest it in my business. The profit I accrue from that business, I share with the bank the profits based on what we have agreed upon. Maybe the bank bringing 1000 the bank now can take, let's say, 60% of the profits, and I take 40% of the profits. And the next year, come round, if you agree, then the bank will give me another money, the same 1,000, and then end of the year, we have the profit, then we share 60, 40. If by the time I get my second 40, it means now I have enough capital to stand on my own, then I return the capital of the bank to, it, to, 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 to him, and therefore, no more risk and I therefore I can now manage my business. An independent investigation is done on individuals seeking financial assistance from Islamic Bank to verify their potential growth capacity. Companies whose financial practices and operations are too risky are generally left out by Islamic financing companies. Yes, for that one, if you go currently in all the banks in Ghana, whether Islamic or not Islamic, all banks, they do that. Before they give you a loan, they check your credit worthiness. They check to see whether you have loans elsewhere. They, bring, they ask you to bring your pay slip, right? They ask you to bring your pay slip. They check how much is your salary, how much can you take based on your salary. If they take this amount of money from you monthly, can you survive? Do you have family? Do you have other things to pay? All these are questions that they do just to be able to check your background. Through intensive audit and analysis, Islamic banking promotes risk reduction and creates space for a greater investment stability. According to Professor Niall, in the Islamic banking industry, each bank will invest in promising business ventures and attempt to outperform its competitors. This, he says, will translate into a high return on investments both for the bank and depositors. A report by Mohammed Nuruddin. And we have a full bulletin of business news coming up at the top of the hour. We're going to is standing by with sports staging.